Nice look. Let's establish the reality of the situation, Michael. What do I say? These papers speak of reports. Reports connecting you to those recent mass murders. Didn't kill anyone. No one says you did, but conclusive evidence supports your involvement. Should I trust your accusations? If you are innocent, then our conversation is pointless. If you are indeed guilty, we have more to discuss. Now give me a straight answer on the most important question. Did you do it? Ask it. I did. Ask it again, with more concern. Like you actually think that I did it. Did you, Michael Benton, kill those five innocent college students? Do it again. I'm more feeling. Did you, Michael? Did you? No. Wait a minute. Yes? Wasn't there only four murders? The fifth one has yet to be identified. But how is that possible? Because the fifth one isn't dead. Two are dead. How many will emerge in skeleton clothes before a tragedy drenched in such madness is finished? I don't know. These pictures are found in my mind. Where did I get them? Have a seat. Nervous? Yeah, a little. I, I don't like doctors. Nor do I, Michael. Try not to look at me as a doctor. More of a friend. Okay. Michael, I'll start by asking some basic questions. Have you had any trouble sleeping lately? Sometimes, yeah. Okay, most of the time. But, uh. Is there anything occurring right now that has you stressed? Same as always. School, life. Are you taking any form of medication, drugs, illegal substances? No, I don't touch that stuff. 
Okay, okay, just checking. Now, what do you think is actually causing the sleep problem you have? Horrific images. I get them all the time. It's like a disease. They, they just won't go away. When these images come, are they reappearing several times in one night? Yeah, over and over. Same pictures, images, scenes? All the time. It feels like insomnia. I hard to fall asleep. When I do get to sleep, then the dreams are up. And I, I feel like someone's grabbing my throat. Like, I feel cold, sweaty, kind of nervous. It's, images flash up in spurts. And it's just, Mild paranoia, nightmares, uncontrollable sweating, difficulty sleeping, these symptoms of what is happening to you. Enough, okay? Just stop. There isn't any illness I can pinpoint that's yours right off, but more sleep would be beneficial. Then that's all I need to hear. I would also advise to get out more socially, talk to people. I don't know. Are you in good social health, talking to friends? Social. No. Is there anyone that you can talk to about your problem? Someone you feel comfortable with? Michelle. A friend? My girlfriend. Does she know you're seeing me? Yeah, she does. Have you explained to her why you're seeing me? I haven't yet, but I will. And that's very understandable. I wouldn't be in any hurry to tell my girlfriend I was having psychotic nightmares either. Glad you can see both sides of the coin, Doctor. Well, I wouldn't go too far in my career if I wasn't able to. Straight up poor psychologist. Exactly. Now back to Michelle. What do you think her initial response will be? To what's happening? Precisely, yes. I've had enough of this. I mean, you don't need to know. You don't even know who she is. Well, maybe you can introduce- No! There's no way. I do believe I have another meeting to attend to. Why am I doing this? Is five weeks from today good for you? Perfect. You didn't have to wait on me, you know. Oh, I had nothing better to do. That makes me feel real special. You should not ever go away that long for you. But I'm irresistible, though. Whatever. You're trying to the nice there, hen. Eh, whatever. <laughs> so, uh, who's that counselor you were? Someone... Helix. You ever heard of him? I don't think so. Well, he's new. He started about two weeks ago. Well, his mind may feel like a computer, you know, like, ready to crash. Has Michael been acting real weird lately? He, you know, he doesn't really tell me what's going on with him. At least I think he doesn't. Well, is he acting real distant from you? He may feel like a like a virus living inside a computer, and that virus is one day gonna crash the computer. The computer being himself. Uh, it might sound weird to you. Yeah, it does. I'm trying to help, and the way I see it, I just don't see him ignoring you. That's just not him. That's just not like him. Not Michael, no. He just. I just feel like he doesn't have a firm grasp on, well, on his life. 
He doesn't mean to be the way he is around me. It's just... He, he can't help it? Yeah, I, I guess he can't. What can I do? Talk to him. It's all I can think of. Well, I, I gotta go. I'll see you in the Yeah. What are you not telling me, Michael? Hey guys, what do you call a cow that gets stuck in the barbed wire? Utter destruction. <laughs> oh, hey, Dr. Fenton. Oh, morning, Glory. How morning. are you doing? Um, I was wondering if I could ask you a question. Sure, go away. I'll make up an answer. <laughs> um, it's about a new counselor here. New counselor? Okay. His, his name is uh, Dr. Helix. Hmm, Dr. Helix? That name is just not familiar to me. Really? Mm, no, I mean, if he were a counselor here, I'd definitely know him. Michelle, it was good seeing you this morning. I've, I've got a lot to do. I better get going. Session 3, Subject 5A, Michael Benton, Case History, Mild Mental Disorder. So we'll have the tech required to review our session. Any positive attributes are more than welcome. I'm feeling better. In what ways, Michael? My grades are looking higher, I'm talking to more people. I think it's all piecing back together. Do you suggest we not meet again? One more time, maybe. I'll agree with one more session. Uh, how about a couple days from now, during the evening? I can meet during the evening. I'll contact you later. I've misplaced my journal recently. <laughs> Alright. So there's nothing bothering you? Not really. Thoughts? Nightmares? Not a few nightmares, but nothing as bad as before. Showing improvement. Very good. But I need to ask you a few questions, though. They come from someone else a little higher than me. Like who? Confidential. Sorry. I if I don't need to know. That's cool. Do you have a fascination of knives, Michael? Yeah, I like knives. I'll take that as a yes. Back when I was younger, I'd carve my name in trees around our house. I left my mark at many places. Wow. Your subject did the same thing when he was younger. Huh. What a coincidence. I, uh, I don't know how to ask this, but, uh, here goes. Do you still have the desire to kill someone? No, I never did. Some kind of sicko. A couple more questions. Let's hear them. Are you still dating Michelle? Great. There's nothing like jumping to a subject I don't want to talk about. The university hasn't been able to contact you for the past 24 hours. What do you mean? You don't know? I didn't know she was missing. When was the last time you talked to her? Yesterday before lunch. I was busy the rest of the day. and Today she was supposed to go on a trip with the class. They should have left this morning. Isn't that weird, though? You're probably the last one to know. I can't help that. Were you friends with Greg Guillotine and Matt Williams? Why? Greg and Matt were murdered three months ago. Did you have anything to do with the killings? No! No, I didn't! Wait, what are you thinking? You think I killed them? Forget this! I'm getting out of here! No! I don't believe you did those horrific acts. Don't blame me for these questions. How do I know you weren't the one who made them up? I'll explain everything in our next session. Just don't be mad at me. 
I'm not mad. I'm just worried about Michelle. What's happened? Very well then. The session's over. If you do find Michelle, contact me or Dean Bonder. Either one of us can contact the proper authorities. She's taking my, my trunk. But I mean, how can she's? I don't. I can't leave this knife here. Okay, Mike. Gotta think. I'll keep her in the trunk. Figure out what to do. That'll work. Am I talking to the person who knows of room 213? Who wants to know? Are you going to send me those messages? Because Listen I... carefully. Tomorrow, meet me at 3.45 p.m. in the library, second floor. Well, where at? In one of the study cubicles. How will I know it's you? I'll be wearing a khaki-colored raincoat.
presence is known to me. You want to know what's been happening? It'd be a nice gesture if you would tell me. Interesting analogy. I see what is on your mind. Violence, weapons. Do you know what's going on, Dr. Helix? Or are you just wasting my time? Only limited information. Okay. Our madness wears different faces, Michael. What's going on? Look in the aisles up here after I depart. Did you kill someone? Possibly. Maybe you did. No, I know I didn't. Tonight, 7 p.m., room 213, in the Franklin Center. Be there if you want to bring this to an end. In what way? A good, subtle ending, of course. I'll trust you know the solution to all that has happened. Good. Now I must leave. Can I help you? Michael Benton? Yeah? Detective Caldwell, Detective Cooper, FBI. We'd like to ask you some questions in connection with the murder of your girlfriend. Uh, sure. We'd like you to come with us, please, as soon as you can. Um, let me get my jacket.
possible. my own self deceived me. From the beginning, trying to tell myself to kill the insanity winning me over. I should have known what was being carried out. Bums. Who it was? Weapons. Various physical similarities. If I didn't think it was m me actually doing those killings, I would have watched closer. But was it actually me doing the murders? Figures on the papers, what were they? Victims weren't real. A figment of my altered mindset. A fake fragment. It didn't even exist. There wasn't any murders, except for one. Michelle. She was my last grip on life. Why not talk to others of the murders? I thought everyone knew. An easy, stupid answer. One thing I do know, every time one of them died, I drew a little closer to losing it. Make you lose your sanity? Maybe so. And see what is on your mind. Violence. Weapons. Can they make you forget things? Perceptions are different when looked at from opposite sides of the mirror. Images turn smarter than yourself, and they're not even rational until you make them real. My reaction was the same, but the perception was different. The solution to my main question had been gradually determined. I've turned into my insanity, for my sanity is dead in a room. This drawing we found in here at the body. He carried these three blank pieces of paper wherever he went. You just carried them around? That's what the students I've talked to say. What is the time of death? Estimated time of death around 7 to 8 p.m. Does it look like a murder? No sign of struggle. It appears to be suicide. I heard about his girlfriend. Yeah, we found his girlfriend. First name is Shell. Uh, she was half buried out in the field somewhere. And that's a sad situation. Sure is.
Our madness wears different faces, Michael. That good? That was good. All right, you, you, you let me know. If I can do anything, I'd do it, all right? Uh, I just want to hear you say morning glory one more time. <laughs> morning glory. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, dog. Take care. I can't leave this camera here either. <laughs>